Hi, yes, it's time to have a quick laugh at solar roadways again, or solar pavement, because it's just the gift that keeps on giving here on the EEV blog. This time, Spain. Hi to all my Spanish viewers, in Barcelona in particular, congratulations, you've joined the infamous list of pissing away your taxpayer dollars on solar pavement rubbish. Thank you to the viewer who sent this one in. I'll make this quick. Look, because like how many videos have I done on solar freaking roadways and busted? The, there's more than is here. It's just tons. It's just insane. God, oh, won't they learn? Barcelona installs a solar pavement that produces electricity. Woohoo! The installation will be connected in self-consumption mode and will produce the electricity that three households consume. Three whole households. So here it is. Looks like the article just came out. And Barcelona tests solar pavement in Plaza de las Glorias. Sorry. <laughs> that reduces. It reduces CO2 production. Really, how much embodied energy went into producing these tiny little pissant, probably like one foot, 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter uh, tiles. I have no idea who makes these. If you do, please leave a link in the comment uh, in comments down below. Uh, and it looks like, curiously, each one of them looks like it has a little micro inverter in them. That curiously looks like the end phase shape. I wonder if uh, end phase, little tiny... Micro inverters inside each one. Anyway, you're going to damn well need a little micro inverter inside each one of these little piss ant pavements because they're just going to get like gunked up and oh, it's just going to be absolutely awful. So, yeah, if you stringed, they had these in a string configuration, oh, it'd even be worse than it already is. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like a little micro inverter. The Barcelona City Council presented this morning in that location a solar pavement capable of producing electricity with which is expected to reduce production of 2,700 whole kilograms of CO2 per year. At the moment, the project is in the pilot phase and will consist of the installation of 50 square metres of the pavement. That's the size, exact same size of the EEV blog lab here. So how much conventional rooftop solar can you get for 50 uh, square metres? Well, if we actually go over here, have a look at a typical typical um, LG panel, the ones I just got installed, the Neon 2s are 370 watts. They turn out to be about, uh, well, you know, we're getting in a little bit of nitty gritty here, about a metre by 1.7 metres. So divide 370 by 1.7, what was that? Uh, 217 watts uh, per square metre. Multiply that by 50, should be about 10,800 watts if you installed regular panels for 50 or 50 square meters of regular panels. And it looks like they're getting, uh, their system is going to be 9 kilowatts. Uh, so it looks like it's a 9 kilowatt nominal system. 9 kilowatts. <laughs> so that's kind of on par because you'd expect uh, some losses due to like just the smaller, like the frame area and uh, stuff like that. So, you know, that, that figure would be nominal if you actually installed them in a proper configuration not flat on the ground why install solar panels flat on the ground he's just already pissing away so much energy by doing that unbelievable anyway let alone driving on the things and walking on the things and just getting the grime and not self-cleaning when it rains and oh god Anyway, it's expected to produce uh, 7,560 uh, kilowatts, presuming kilowatt hours will be generated at the end of this year. It's equivalent to the energy consumption of three homes. Wow. It will have highly resistant non-slip glass. Wow. If you put them on the roof, you don't need non-slip glass. Being a pilot test, this facility will remain for six months. And <laughs> then it'll be dead by then anyway. Uh, the energy agency will monitor the data collected and will evaluate the operation and compliance with the objectives. I wonder what the objectives are. If you have the official objectives, let us know down below. If the results are satisfactory. They won't be unless their objectives were really low. Uh, this photovoltaic pavement will be installed in other parts of the Catalan capital. Barcelona City Council organized a competition for this project, which is won by the... So uh, that looks like that's... I don't know if that's who makes the tiles or whether or not that's in store group or something don't know which has received an award grant of 30,000 euros to carry out this initiative 30,000 euros to install this 50 square meter boondoggle 
unbelievable. The winning proposal was that of the oh, leader company since it presented the most sustainable and respectful solution. It could be a translation. It's important to be respectful when you're doing bad engineering. How bad? Well, look, <laughs> when you've done this countless times before, it's trivially easy to calculate what the performance of flat solar panels on a road or a pavement is going to do best case and i did that in the video and i came to the conclusion in this case the french what way one where they installed like a kilometer of road so we have great data on these things and uh, i came to the conclusion that before they even uh, built the thing or tested it um, that at best it was going to do three times it was going to be three times the cost for half the output and i wasn't including any like major factors i was incredibly generous like it was never going to achieve that but i i like gave them the benefit of the doubt in every single case three times the cost for half the output when the test results came back what did they get one third the output for nine times the cost <laughs> <laughs> that's what you can expect here i guarantee i you don't need your six month trial any engineer with two brain cells to rub together can calculate uh, pretty much what the performance output of this thing is going to do and i can tell you it's going to be somewhere about let's just i don't know split it down the middle it's going to be like half the output for like it, it's probably going to well it it is i think 10 times the cost because 30,000 euros what would a a nine kilowatt system on the top of your roof cost in the european viewers please leave it down below so it's going to be at, at best half the output for like nine or ten times the cost or something like that and it turns out they've actually been planning this for you know a couple of years i was able to find this page news barcelona seeks solutions to generate renewable energy from pavements this is uh in 2019 has made a commitment by 2030 to reduce his greenhouse gas emissions very noble <laughs> you're not gonna do it this way you dickheads because as i said the embodied energy required to produce these pissant little panels like this and have a micro inverter for each and every tiny one like this it's it, it is insanity J just right off the bat even if these were had little tracking things and they were going to get exactly the same output and they're going to stay perfectly clean and they're never going to fail and everything else you're still pissing away all that embodied energy in a mic looks like a micro inverter for each one of these or, or just you know <laughs> when you get a panel like this they're fairly well optimized in terms of cost and embodied energy per uh, what you know I'd, I'd, like these things have got to be that's got to be order of magnitude more embodied energy than you know like a regular panel like this or a big industrial solar farm panel or something like that it's got to be beyond all the proposed measures it will be studied whether the incorporation of renewable generation in the city's pavements could help meet the target and if we look at the following data this movement could be the key barcelona has about 1380 kilometers of linear streets which means an area of 11 square kilometers of roads and nine square kilometers of sidewalks these 21 square kilometers represent a greater surface area than the city has on its roofs yes but when you go and put these panels on your roof they are like one tenth the cost and you get double or three times the output from them as well as five or even ten times the lifespan so it is so retarded an idea to even consider the sidewalks and the roads before you've actually put the surface area on the roofs i mean come on out of sheer morbid curiosity let's have a look here this is actually where they're going to install these things let's go to the map here i'm not oh okay is this um yeah <laughs> please if you're near here leave it in the comments down below or please even go and get photos and track this as other people uh ev blog viewers have done and they've sent like photos in and updates over the next six months because this is it's <laughs> It's kind of guaranteed to be a dismal fire. <laughs> Unbelievable. So it's somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, what, what is that thing? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Phallic much? But anyway, like, look at all these roofs around here. Okay. Like, oh, is that. Hello? Are they actually panels? What's going on there? It, it's some museum. Is that. It's kind of. 
sort of looks like panels. Kind of weird. Anyway, it looks like it's one of those arty farty uh, precincts, you know. Look, there's, there's some big thing, coloured thing you walk through or something. You know, looks looks nice. Big, uh, you know, uh, museum there and stuff like that. Well, look, roofs. Hello? Roofs, right? Look, until you've covered every single one of these damn roofs. I mean, you know, it, it might be harder to do these. I'm not sure how old all these buildings are, but, like, there's so many of them. So many roofs. Look, I mean, they're just in this grid structure. Wow, that's... Look at it. Look at it. This grid structure. <laughs> wow. I don't see any solar panels. <laughs> so until every single one of those roofs has, you know, a proper efficient, already cost-optimized solar panels on it, which can power the actual point source load right there. It can actually power the house. You don't even consider this. So, if there is more potentially energy-generating surface area on the street than the rooftops, why aren't streets used to generate energy? Because they cost an order of magnitude more. They last like <laughs> one-fifth the time they produce a third or a half of the energy at best. They're unreliable. You've got, they don't clean themselves. But like, just come on. Barcelona Energy Agency is to blame. With the support of the Bit Habitat Foundation, they've launched a challenge. Generating pavements. How can we incorporate local renewable generation in the city's pavements? The objective is to try to understand the potential of paved areas for the generation of renewable energy. Look into solutions. Like, we have the results from everywhere else on the planet that's tried these stupid solar roadways and solar pavement concepts. It doesn't work. It's a boondoggle. It's a complete and utter guaranteed waste of time, money, and embodied energy. It doesn't save you any CO2 at all. It actually produces more. And here's the actual uh, challenge page they put up. And this is what um, somebody won with this goal. And here it is. In view of the Barcelona Energy Agency, we have launched the challenge energy generating pavements. How can we incorporate local renewable energy generation in the city's pavements? And uh, this was, do they have a date on this? But yeah, it would have been like that 2019 thing or uh, something like that. And as it, we are looking for solutions to this challenge, following considerations, the solutions must cover the city's current energy uses and consumptions without creating any new ones. So no disco LEDs. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce Oars. <laughs> no disco LEDs in these ones. They're not allowed to consume anything. They've just got to produce. Oh, shock horror. The solution must indicate how the power generator will be evacuated and ejected into the city's electricity grids. Again, uh, translated. It must be designed to be fitted into the public space, outdoors, safety and robust requirements, their operational and functional management solution, installation, power evacuation, maintenance, not just a technical one. And the winning proposal will receive $30,000 subsidy. So it, it might have cost more than this. Like, this company may be hoping they get a big contract. So it, you know, it's like, that's, that's not a lot of money, actually, for digging up all this pavement and actually producing these and, you know, doing everything else. So the only tests carried out so far on pavements have involved photo Catalysts. I don't know what that means. Furthermore, the benchmarking studies and analyses of energy generating pavements carried out have not been followed by any action due to the immaturity of the technology at the time of the studies. It doesn't matter how mature the technology becomes. When you lay panels flat on the pavement, you already lose, I can't remember the exact figure, but and then you already shorten the lifespan by who knows how many times, like five times or something like that. And then they just get abused and they get constant grime and crap on them. And then uh, like, it's just, it's guaranteed. Doesn't matter how well you engineer the technology in these panels, you're already going to be fundamentally like at a third the capacity for like an order of magnitude more cost. It's just ridiculous. Oh, here are the winners. <laughs> Sorry, you company in cooperation with... Oh, Platio. Haven't we seen... We've seen Platio before. I've done a video on Platio. Yep, I sure have. Platio solar pavement is bullshit. <laughs> that was on my second channel. And there it is. So, yeah, it looks like they're using, they're using Platio solar panels. So this company's probably just, yeah, teamed up with Platio and they <laughs> got a micro inverter on the bottom of each one. And here's our solution. Can we have our 30,000 euros, please? Oh, and the finalists were Soul Move. We've done Soul Move before, haven't we? I'm sure I've died. I don't know. Look how many companies are pushing this boondoggle. Unbelievable. 
Sorigu, I'm butchering that name. I'm absolutely sure I am. Yeah, it looks like they're a big company into smart cities and water cycles and materials and all sorts of uh, stuff. So, yeah, it's <laughs> services and waterworks, hydraulics, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's who won it. Um, yeah, some big company won the thing using this Platio uh, rubbish. And no, 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 Spain. Why did you have to do it? But it's just they're going to keep doing this everywhere because these councils and governments they want to be seen to be green and they come up with these or you know, somebody pitches these ideas to them solar roadways solar pavements solar sidewalks solar uh, boat ramps and solar bloody seats and solar all sorts of stupid ridiculous things and it's just i uh, no 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 just please stop this rubbish the results are going to be exactly the same as Coalesce, Wattways and other systems that were actually measured. We've got the demonstrable data, but you don't even need that. You can just... I can't. Oh. So anyway, if you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're in, if you're like a local resident here, please tell them that this was a complete waste of money. And... <laughs> give it a big thumbs down next time any council or any government tries to propose any rubbish like this. So yes, let them know your displeasure for them wasting your tax dollars on this guaranteed boondoggle. Unbelievable. It's just no. No, no, no. Anyway, maybe we'll get the data in six months time and we can guarantee the results just like we've done time and time again because it's guaranteed. And if you do live in the area, yeah, um, <laughs> please, like, <laughs> you send us a video of you, like, visiting this thing and having a look at it and over time, over the next six months and see how long it lasts, see in what condition it's like when they've installed it and what it's like after a month or six months or something like that. And it's just the ones we've seen <laughs> before. Come on. And I don't know about these microinverters either like there's no airflow for the micro inverters it's not like you're like whacking them on a roof and you can get you know you just mount them under and then you get the airflow under and stuff like that so those suckers are going to heat up so it'd be interesting to see if we can actually get the temperature data from these hmm because by the way if you're interested uh yes i can actually get the temperature data here are my here's my new uh end phase array here i can actually get the uh temperature data for each one of these so i can just go into say that one in the middle there ta-da there it is the uh green is oh green green is temperature the max temperature it's getting at the moment this is like the last seven days 114 fahrenheit haven't figured out how to change it to celsius yet i don't know what's that in celsius uh, 40 something yeah that's 47 degrees uh celsius so yeah all mine are under 50 degrees anyway if people keep installing this rubbish i'll keep making videos <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving hope you enjoyed it catch you next time